What is going on guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo and welcome to Rhyme. I have been waiting for this game for quite some time uh, because it looked so darn cool. Initially it was shown off, I believe at a Sony uh, press conference and then it went through uh, some, some, some stuff and now it's finally releasing. I think it has a new publisher and it is out on PS4, Xbox One, PC. Coming to Switch later, which is where I would have played it, uh, but it's way too beautiful and has way too cool of a concept for me to wait on. So we are going to check it out together, see what we think. Maybe we'll play through the whole thing if it's my kind of game. But let's dive in and see what it's like. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button. It does help out. And I'm sure it would make these stars smile. Well, hello, small boy and seagull, crab and starfish, from a tumultuous storm uh, to a pretty tragic wash-up. Here we are, ready to embark on some sort of quest. I've heard it's kind of like Journey, kind of like Zelda, kind of somewhere, an adventure in between. Sounds pretty cool. There's no words, but it is very, very beautiful, almost poetic. Uh, the trailers showed a whole lot of craziness. And it's cool that we're finally playing it. Alright, so this is my dude. This is the world. Alright. We're just all alone, washed up. There's a pretty white tower. Some luscious green trees and some beautiful brown mountains. Along with all sorts of... Scallywags on the sea. Oh, I just, I just smushed the crab. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Shouldn't be scurrying around my feet. Or maybe I shouldn't be feetsing around your scurry. Either way, let's head up Pride Rock and see. I, I'm guessing we want to get in there. Hmm. It is a very gorgeous game. I'm playing this on PS4 Pro. It looks fantastic. Uh, can we swim? For a second, I thought he going to walk on water. I was like, oh, it's that kind of game. I see you, Red Scarf. Um, he's got some sort of, like, I don't know what that is in his head. It's like a metal headband or something. Maybe it's just a, I don't know, it looks ancient in some way. He kind of feels like he's someone that just, like, emerged from some ruins. A couple centuries too late. But he is a vine climber. So we know that he has a heart of gold. All vine climbers are good people. His jump is a little bit more of, like, a Link jump, like Link used to have. Uh, you know when Link would do his, like... Before Breath of the Wild, it's like little, I don't even know if you call it a jump. More of a scooch. So that's what it is. It's a scooch jump. All right. So that is the tower we seek. Oh, it's got Witness vibes. I know it's not going to have line dot puzzles like the Witness, but it's got a lot of a lot of uh, environmental similarity. What is this thing? A little pig squirrel? It's a little pig squirrel? Aw, oh, what a cutie. My favorite out of the pig squirrel. Actually, it kind of looks like a Bambi pig. Call me here. Call me here. I can somersault. That's good to know. What do the buttons do? What do they do? I'm going to take it in. That's his, like, breathe button? Hmm. Interesting. This little mouse went to this house. This little mouse went to that house. You are a very awesome mouse who looked like you got freaking powers. All right, there's some fruit. There's a big old pig. There's something in the sky over there. And then there's this tower where clearly they intend for us to go. So let's head to the tower first. These kind of games always fascinate me where they drop you in and just say like... Oh, they didn't say anything, but... 
I imagine they're saying, figure it out, young one. Figure it out. And that's what we'll do. It's almost like a, a, a very beautiful book. I don't read much these days. Well, I actually, I read a ton. It's just all on Twitter, social media. Uh, but I, but I'm, I think, like, if I was going to illustrate a book, I'd want it to look like this. We've got a path of stone. Hmm. Can we... Ooh, there's, like, jelly, jelly blobs down there. Can we make this jump? Can my dude run? Can, how far can you jump, buddy? I feel like not far enough. The triggers don't seem to do much. Now the question is, how the heck do I get up there? Where the heck do they want me to go? You know, maybe I should go towards the light. Although there's a, a lot of lights. There is no light over there. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. Do we die from falling? Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> a black screen of doom. That's one way to uh, to make you realize that you shouldn't do that. Is it is it distance or is it just anywhere off these ledges? Okay. So it must be distance. Or maybe there are some specific ledges. It's a bit of both. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can deal with this or you can deal with that. That's a song from good old NBA Street. Volume 2. One of my favorite games of all time. Pick a freaking... Wow, that's a big fruit. Do you like it? Eat it. Okay, or not. <gasps> squirrel pig, squirrel pig, Bambi and your brother. Eat my fruit before I find another. All right, let's head to this light. Do we collect the lights? Do we touch the light? Does the light dance for us? What's going to happen over here? Oh, hello? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Yo! Oh, okay, what if I bring him a fruit? Man, this game really isn't telling us anything. Just, like, figure it out. I saw some people also compare it to Mist. Just in the sense that you are just kind of exploring and, like, please figure this game out. Please try and understand what to do. It sure isn't going to tell you. But we will try to find it out. Butterflies in the sky, fruit on my shoulder. This is basically July 16th. Thank you. Eat that fruit. Solve the problem. Reach the gummy fox and touch the light. Doesn't it kind of look like a gummy fox? It sure does. I shout and it spews. Aha. Oh, I bet. You know what? I bet it's going to go to that middle pavilion. And I bet there are... Yeah, there's four gummy foxes that we do need to seek out. There's another one over there. Alright, so grab the gummy fox. They'll head back home and do Mambo number four in the center of the world. It's gorgeous. Lubega would be proud. A lot of seagulls. Finding Nemo reference. Probably not, but let's pretend it is because Pixar is cool. At least they used to be cool. Can they make good movies anymore? I don't even know. They did for a while. They made really great movies. And then they got very, uh, very commercial. Like all good things, ruined <laughs> by money and society. No, that's pretty pessimistic. Let's not think like that. Maybe Pixar will turn it around. Maybe Coco, their new movie, is going to be fantastic. Cars 3, could it be the one... Little Lightning's going to race his way towards glory. All right, let's head over here. What are these fruits? Are they giant or am I small? How does this work? And how the heck could we possibly get out there? <gasps> There's a person. Do you see it? There's a dude. I'm guessing that we're not going to get to that one for a while. So let's head to the others. Um, There's one other back this way. All of the squirrel pigs sitting together, hanging out, and sharing tales of a feather. That's me, because I have a cape, and it's kind of like a feather, and they're animals, so they don't know about capes, they just know about feathers. That top tower is where we eventually are going to get to, but I'm guessing that 
It's going to open up once we get enough gummy bears. One would imagine, right? So, uh, I wonder if these are just randomly strewn or if this is kind of hinting that, hey, go over this way. Okay, and that's back to the bay. So there's got to be another path that leads out to the tower in the distance. Um, is this a path we can take? It is. All right. It is a very uh, quaint world, if you will. There's a lot of calm to it. And sometimes I like a good game like this. Like, it's always fun to play, like, a hyper game where you're, like, super intense and super into it. But there's something special, at least for me, um, when you get to play a game where it's like, ah, oh, just breathe and relax and enjoy. What is this little toy? Hello? Breathe it in. Breathe out. Well, how do I... You think I should be able to, like, take this, right? No button prompt, though. That's weird. Hmm. Seagulls. Unless this is just, like, a collectible, but... If it was a collectible, you think that it would make a noise or make a sound or vanish? Boo! Yeah, as far as I can tell, nothing really going on there. Huh, okay. Well, let's continue on the path, then. See where this leads. It is a really unique look, isn't it? It's got a really unique feel and unique aesthetic. I think this game is going to look real good on the Switch. I'm excited for that. Uh, I don't... It's coming out like at a later date or whatever. And for a while, it's supposed to be much more expensive on the Switch, but I feel... I think they fixed that. Which is good. I cannot have a weird Switch tax if we want the Switch to succeed. Yeah, this is definitely the path that's going to take me to that tower, which is good. So, a lot of environmental exploration, a lot of, like, hidden pathfinding, navigating uh, the strangeness. And it seems like the sun is setting, so there's a day-night cycle of some sort. Which could be good or bad, depending on what comes out and rubs at night. Oh, there's one of these red caped men. About to our first caped men encounter. No, 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 no. Okay, good work, boy. Aha, this man's like, venture into my journey chamber. He doesn't he look like he's like straight out of journey. He really does. He also is a very fast walker. Because he sure ascended these steps faster than I can. He like zoomed. Alright, let's grab the gummy. Gummy fox, gummy fox. Where are you? Okay, the, the cape man is gone. But watch the miracle travel through the night and see, see what it lights. The sight of almost dying, but not quite. I used all my might to survive that plight. Okay, we gotta stop. I know rhymes are fun, but sometimes I get carried away. Look at this land, dude. So freaking gorgeous. All right, there's, is there's one more? There's an Aurora Borealis that seems to be is it forming under the skylight? Uh, I kind of looks like it is, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that's super interesting. I do wish we ran a little bit faster. There's another totem out there on the, the edge. I don't know how we collect that stuff. Or what we do with it. There's another one there. Interesting. What? are those things all right ledge drop I wonder if there's more to the game or if all of it's just gonna be environmental navigation and then like finding gummies maybe different levels of different gummies right cuz there's gotta be more game than just like find these uh, five gummies and you're done I don't know what this stuff is but let's touch it or try to touch it what is this one it's like part of a shield or something. Oh, there! Okay. Okay. I see you. I feel you. Alright. Cool. So there's another one. Um. Alright. So if you go up to an, and I'm on PS4, you press square. It allows you to grab them. It sort of seemed before like that wasn't a possibility, but now we know it is. Alright, so I'm going to go grab that other guy. 
I wonder what those unlock. Uh, but even though we don't know, we will still do our due diligence and uh, f try to figure it out. So that path was... Oh, it was around here, right? Yes. Started off a little bit lower. Alright, cool. So let's go grab that guy. See what it is for. There's another one, as you saw, out on uh, a, a very uh, a jutting out rock. But it seems like we're collecting multiples of these. Oh! Collect all the animals and you will find a storybook world. Quite divine. Alright, let's go up here. Look how pretty the stars are, dude. There are nowhere near this many stars in uh, in Los Angeles. I wish there were. How cool would that be? Aha, looks like there's a back path over there that leads up to that tower. And, um... Hmm. Okay, well, we've got three of the gummy foxes. Can't even get up there at this current point in time. How do we get out to the one that's so far out there? Let's see. Yeah, because there's only four major ones, so it's got to be the four with the light. One, two, three are glistening, and one isn't, and it's pointing in this direction. So it abso freaking lowly is this one. Can we just swim out to it? There's another caped crusader just standing idle. Waiting for us to arrive, and then what? He vanishes again? Okay, so this is a much more straightforward path than I presume. There's still a little swimming that needs it. Wait. Whoa, 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 was that a piece of scarf? Oh, it's a crab. Okay. Let's dive in. Swim, swim, swim. See, oh, you can dive with circle. That's nifty. Huh. Aha! Diving is a very worthwhile move to have. Because there's pools and secret gardens of the wet variety. Alright. Yell out. Catapult that gummy back to base. Swim under... That's cool that they like completely made an underwater realm as well as an above water realm that you can be a part of. I'm gonna go over here. Cause why not? Alright. Up we go. Look at this little guy. He's such a climber. Young Nathan Drake. Minus all the murder sprees. I think I may, I think I might climb to the freaking pig pile again. What the heck? Um how do I get to some of those other places? All right. Well, I don't even know what happened. Let's hit the center plat, the the center little pavilion plateau thingamabob. Maybe it'll rise us up. Oh, let's let's find out. Mm, I don't think I can make that drop, so let's not even try. Don't want to hurt our our dear boy if we don't have to, right? Big pigs and small pigs and squirrel pigs and Bambi pigs. All the pigs. This game is about pigs. This is Pig 2.0 or Pig 3.0. There already was Pig 2.0. Alright. Okay. Absorb all of the power. And there's an actual fox. Hello, little lovely. What's up? Ooh. He has made a master cylinder, a tower of terror. And a spiral staircase that leads our journey onward. Now what the heck could be up here? I wonder if this is going to help us reach other paths or if it's going to take us out of this area. I guess we'll find out or maybe we won't. But if we sense like we're going to leave... Um, then let's turn back. Ooh, look at this one. It's like a little 
It's like a baby or something. Yep, baby face, baby face, where are you? Open up the second half of the level. Uh huh. Okay. So I real quick want to go grab that other little good thing. Um, I could probably land in the water, okay. Okay. It's all right. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but giant falls won't hurt me. That's what he says. Probably not, but we're going to pretend he says that. Ooh, look at that. Little night gecko. Little lizard. Very cool. It's been night for a long time. Although maybe not. I don't know. Oh, there is definitely a day-night cycle. That move, that moon is on the move. That move is mooning. The move is mooning us. All right, so... I gotta get... To that far off path. So let's see. Let's see if there's a way that we can wind ourselves more towards that other totem or whatever it was that we're trying to collect. Uh, I feel like... Let's see. Is this just the path down? That is... Mm, all right. Maybe we have to go back up and through. Let's try it that way. La -de -da -da. If this was a, a like a later video, I would probably uh, skip this. But since it is sort of like the beginning of the game, uh, I just want to show you all of it. So we're just gonna keep the tape rolling. No cuts, Denny. Don't don't. Don't cut this footage. Leave it all in there. Alright, so we have walked this path before, but it'll be interesting to see if there's, like, another outcome, a different way. Uh, and we can see way over there. You see that? The glow, the glisten. That's where we're trying to head. The question is, can I get there? Is it possible? How freeform is this world? How, you know, how, uh... Determined are the paths. Am I able to navigate via the mountains? Or am I going to have to go via water? And Maybe there's a closer place to climb? I guess we'll, we'll find out. There's no way down there. Okay. This seems like it's going to... Wind us back around. Huh. So maybe there is no connected tissue through here? Because it's over there. I wonder if we could just swim that, that way, you think? There's gotta be, right? It's attainable. We can see it. And this doesn't seem like the kind of game that, like, you're gonna get a power-up or something. So what we have here... It's probably what we're going to be left with. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's hop, skip, stumble, and fall our way back to the beach. And we've been up there, we've been over and around. I'm assuming that these uh, totems are th for the entire game, not per level. That would be insane. Let's wander over here. I mean, I bet we're going to be able to climb up somehow, some way. Almost looks like we can get in in the middle there. But we didn't think to explore behind us when we first landed ashore from whatever did that to us. I don't know. Uh-huh. Indeed, there is another area. A hidden area we may have very well missed. And this one has wall crawlers, which are so freaking cool. I love the little touches. Kind of reminds me of Abzu in a way. That underwater game. Oh, wow. That's something interesting. More strange collectibles. Okay. Weird, huh? And, and, it, and it's quite the wondrous game because they don't tell you any of this stuff up front. There's no... There's no knowledge of what's really going on or any of this. You're just figuring it out. Investigating. I mean, we just yelled at a pot and it broke. 
we absorbed a baby face and shoved it into a door. It's a very weird world that we have here in Rhyme. And I wonder what Rhyme means. You know, R-I-M-E, what is man? Okay. So maybe in, in each world there's a shell, an animal, uh, a trinket, a vase. Maybe there's one of each. I have to imagine it's something of the sort. There's Yeah, there's no way there's like all of those in this one area. Unless this one area gets huge once we go through that door, which we're about to do. Whoa. Um, let's make this jump. And... Let's go back. Yeah, it seems like as long as it's not like a... Absolutely massive fall that we can make it. Alright, well, let's run back. And we're gonna go straight for the door now. We've collected... Uh, it seems like uh, quite the, the range of collectibles. The world almost has like a claymation feel. I know it's not, but it has like a little like a little bit of a clay look to it. Little uh, little Kubo. I'm a I'm a weirdo and didn't really like Kubo, but I totally applaud and approve and, and appreciate that style of, uh, of of movie making and of animation. I think it's remarkable. It's fascinating what they can do. Uh, with the little miniatures and my goodness, it's it's tedious work that I do not have the 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 mind or the heart for. So I fully am in awe of uh, studios that can make that happen. What is it, Lykai or Lake Lakey Lake Lykai or like Ardman or you know those different uh different teams that just do brilliant work with tiny little movements. It's really remarkable. All right. Enough of the exploration. Let's progress, my friends. Let's push forward. Let's move onward and upwards towards that weird baby door. Didn't it look like a baby? It definitely did. We definitely absorbed a gummy child. The whole world has been transformed into gummies, and you are here to chew them up, spin them out, and put them back in flesh and bone. Or if they taste good, just keep on chewing. That's how I view all things. If it tastes good, just keep on chewing. It reminds me, actually... Of Spirit Away. We've seen that movie. Alright, follow the barking fox who thinks it's a dog. I kind of want to go off path just because I can. In case there's more collectibles. There is. Okay, so I'm guessing that there's going to be four of these, maybe. I'm hoping this is the kind of game that you can travel to the same level, like, over and over again. Right? That would only be fair, right? Hey, don't yell at me, you freaking billy goat. Where did it go? Like, went and disappeared. He teleported out of here. Didn't want to deal with my sass. Alright. So, yeah, I think there's four of those... Uh, pieces in the level. We just gotta find where they're at. Climb up. Climb up. Climb up. There you go. Alright, now we're on this side of the equation. Whoa, what, what was that? Looking at your arm? Huh. Is that still the fox? Ooh, another baby. Absorb the weird bullhead thing. Where did that go? Where did it go? I'm gonna guess that it opened this door. And the fox left us a... a what the heck? Oh. Timer. Alright, so a little bit of a puzzle here. Yell at it. Aha, it activates it. So... The gummies have different mystical abilities. They can activate platforms and things of that sort, which is pretty cool. Go, 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 go. Bowling ball face. Let me be. All right, we're dropping down to the fox. <laughs> All 
Alright, we have a new friend. And he's leaving a tail trail for us to follow. And you know me, I gotta just make sure. I gotta look around, make sure. Aha, we're climbing higher and higher up this spire. Drop down to the jellyfish. And take a bath with weird creatures. I choose not to right now. I feel like I'm just a little bit stinky. Not a lot stinky. So we'll save the bath for later. And we'll venture into a new... Ooh, a new area. Dang, what the heck is all this? Like a totem head out there. We've got... More gummy babies. A weird bridge painting. Oh, that's two of them, but where's the third? Oh, there's the third. Look, 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 look. Hi! Aha! Uh -huh. Open the door, the fox ran, the boy followed straight to the spire. Is that up here? That looks more serious than down here. Let's go down here real quick. Oh, there's the fox, though. So that's clearly further. Then let's go up here. Always scares me, though. I don't want to, like, accidentally activate a cutscene that, like, whisks us away if this is where we're meant to be. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you see what I see? Yes, you do. Send another piece of the puzzle. The third. Alright, so unless the game gives you them in that order no matter what, we're on the right track, right? Unless it's like, okay, whichever piece you find is going to put it in that, like, a, uh, just the order. I'm guessing we're finding the correct pieces. It would make sense, right? I think so. At some point someone painted this beautiful mural of a boy following a fox. It seems like we're living out that exact thing. Um, I can't go back here because Bramble says no. Well, shucks. Let's go down into the dark cave below. Ooh. Down where the light glows and the sand flickers. We find a small pool where the air is much thicker. I don't know. Is air thicker as you go lower? Probably... Th yeah! Because it's, like, thin when you're... If you're doing a... If you're doing, like, hey, I'm in Colorado. You got thin air? Right? Any Colorado winds want to verify this? Any people that live down below? <laughs> Any of you live in the ground? Is the water thicker? I mean, is the air thicker? Well, this is weird. Invisible wall. Coral. Okay, so maybe I wasn't supposed to jump off there. Maybe it's just a, a blank path. Oh, I see something over there. You can see something glistening. We're going to head that way then. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Roll like you mean it, my special little boy. Alright. Let's head over here and grab whatever gorgeous thing this is. It's an orb of some sort. Hello, water. Thank you for making a lot of noise. Aha. Uh -huh. What the heck? What do I do with this? What do you think I do with this? I cannot jump with it. A 
Let's take it back to the... The village? The magic pearl? Through the, uh... Through the creepy place? We didn't even go over here. Water... 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 I don't know where we're supposed to take this. It's like some weird thing crashed. Didn't have a very good day. I uh, can't get up there. What do I do with my big pearl? No. Pick it up. No! Oh my god, no. Oh my god, it's going back to where it came from. Or it's just... I have no idea. It's doing its own thing. But it has to, there has to be some need for that backup city side, right? I guess let's go f figure out other stuff up there. And then if we need it, we'll come back down for it. But weird, right? Like, we've seen collectibles. We've seen gummies. And now we have seen a very spooky crystal orb that must have some use up top. Is it over here? Do you think it goes there? Whoa. Oh, I have to line this up. Sweet! This is kind of like the witness. There we go. We made a door. <gasps> Beautiful. I like these puzzles. There's some fun ones. They're simple so far, but I like them. Okay, that looks like it's our fourth piece, which would make me feel real good about, like, completing this. At least, like, I feel like I got all the collectibles then. Okay, definitely. Five levels. We made the plate of the fox, and we collected, I think, everything in the level. There's that orb. I'm not sure what to do with the orb. Oh, there's a man up in the... Look at that. Do you see that? There is a man up in the mouth, so we have to be able to get down there somehow. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. Okay, so we have to be able to get up there. Unless he's just watching us from up there, like the creep that he is. The watcher. The looker. The lurker, the leaper. Hmm. Something over here. Let's go grab it. How do I get up in there? You saw that, didn't you? What do you think this is? Why are there glowing fireflies there? Oh, I guess they're everywhere. Okay. Creepy watcher man. Creepy orb. We got all the collectibles, so what is the orb for? Or is it just like a weird orb to play with? I don't know. Let's head in here and see. Oh. Maybe the orb goes down here? There's a dice. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Kind of looks like a skull dice. I know it's not supposed to be, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. So it's going to help us climb to the other side. There's no way I could have carried the ball orb thing in here because it just kind of has a mind of its own once you drop it. Sweet, another one of these. I like these puzzles. 
Oh, I bet. Yep. I bet we have to pull this. All right, let's move this into place where we need it to be. Come here. Grab hold. Line it up like so. Mm, like so. Sure. Let's just guess that that's where we want it to be. I can adjust as necessary once I look through here. Okay, it needs to be back towards me. So it's bigger. Maybe like there? Oh. Let's just move it all the way to its spot. Beautiful. Okay. Ta da! Open the door! What do we find? Probably the fox. Or something divine. These golden doors clearly are leading us forward. I very much wonder what that orb is for. But, alas. For now, we will continue into Puzzle Kingdom. Where we do all sorts of weird stuff, like... Push that? Huh? What? Alright, clearly that's for later. Is it? It looks like this door is like... At some level we must be able to open that door and then I'm like, maybe that's what the orb is for opening that door and we just don't know how. Let's see what's out here. Hmm. This definitely reminds me of The Witness. In certain ways. Okay, this can be rotated. That's interesting. Aha! Alright, so we're gonna rotate this around, I'm betting. This goes here. But that can't be moved. Right? How the heck? So we look through here. Oh, the big door. But then if we rotate... check this out here we go what did that do for us <gasps> it fused the blocks oh like we stole the block kind of from the door and took it here so the incomplete door was able to be absorbed onto this and now we've made the big door that I'm guessing is going to lead us out of the level, or something like that. Never can know with this game. Alright, rotate it back. Perfect. Nope. Perfect. There you go. That was pretty cool though, I like how we kind of like stole the element from the door itself. The fox is pleased, it returns! And there's the Watcher! And a new door opens. All right. Well then, seems like we got all the collectibles. The only thing missing is that freaking weird orb. How does the orb tie in? I wish I knew. I think the orb goes, no, the orb definitely doesn't go there.
<laughs> Hello, man. Where are you leading me? Vanished. Boy, or king, looking up at his kingdom. The people all cheering. Or crying, or something. All hail the mighty keyhole. <laughs> Clearly, we have stumbled upon some sort of ancient kingdom. I don't know what it's for, but these weird hole-like symbols are everywhere. Alright. A hole. What is this? Take the key! Stick it in your pants! Looks like it's to open that. Alrighty then. What does it open? What does it do? Inside the door it goes. <gasps> oh baby. All the babies. Here come the fox. Oh, it's filling up some magic pool of water. There's different gateways. The orb gateway. The baby gate. The mama owl baby gate. Over here we've got the something other gate. Looks like we can't yet unify them and make them all work on their own. If this is the first level, I'm super excited for the others. Like, dang. Very cool, huh? Okay, that one's all... Oh. You need key plus bridge plus person. Maybe we're going to come back to these areas? I don't know. It's very interesting. I wonder if this is a hub or what the progression of this is all like. I really don't know. But let's follow, uh... Oh, maybe we can get something that will destroy Bramble. Because you saw that at some level... Okay, we need two keys to open Mama Owl here. And one of them is in the center there. But you saw that there was Bramble, and there was clearly a collectible of some sort. So, I don't know how this is structured, but we must get some power, and we must be able to backtrack at some point. So the orb I will leave for now. Maybe we can figure it out later. Aha! Orb, orb, orb. Three orbs. Or something. I don't know. Very unique. Well, let's head this way. See what we may find. Um, nothing. Hmm. We are up above, though, which is interesting. The fox went this way, clearly. So I guess let's follow it. Doesn't seem like this is the end of anything, but rather the beginning of opening up even more options. Oh wow, okay, great. Well, maybe uh <laughs> maybe it is some sort of end, as I assure you it's not. It sure seemed to be have been. Alright. Sidle, 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 sidle. Alright. Jump that way. To work. Oh golly. Whoa! Hello, here we go. That was a close call. And more babies. Hit the gummy baby. And it activates that one. I don't I must eventually get like a, a louder yell or something that activates more babies. I don't know. Yell at it. Yeah, this is clearly not... There's got to be a better way. Right? One, two... Two... Three... Four. Yeah. 
There's got to be something that I can do. Okay. I get it, but how do I get the others? Okay. They literally stand there for a second and vanish. I... Okay, so I, I definitely have to like go... Okay, we have to definitely go like... Here, let's see. There. Hit it. There. I don't think there's even enough time to do it this way. Fox says hello, and I'm going down here. I ain't got enough time for those freaking yelling babies. Whoa, oh, do you see what this does, right? This is a, a sphere that will activate all in the region. This is exactly the tool I needed. Thank you, Fox, for helping me out here. Okay, cool, so that's gonna open that. I'm just gonna open a doorway, and now I'm gonna set this thing over on this little podium, and we're gonna be good to go. All right, puzzle solving, it's fine. It's can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go, all four. Activation station, and we're in. Beautiful. Now... Okay, now I just need to hit this guy. To go up here. Lift me up, raise me to the door. And inside we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Another one of these cubes. Now oh, I gotta take it to the edge, okay. Or right here? Well, where is the... Th there's two more over there. Oh, but there's a third over there. Let's see. There's a triple jam of babies. Good to know. Uh, let's take this one to the edge here. Can we? You think it'd be able to hit those two guys, but it clearly can't. Okay. Oh, it's time. Really? Crap. So I got to do it quick. Okay. So bring this here. Oh, it didn't hit it. That's gotta hit it, right? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Beautiful. All right, that rises master cylinder. To the top of the tower and allows us to climb even higher which is good news my question was am I able to move this somehow onto this little extra bit here 
Doesn't seem to reach far enough. Alright, so that'll have to be uh, tackled another time. But we can climb higher, which is good news. Alrighty. Perfect. Oh, wow. We really are doing some aggressive climbing here. I, so far, I really, really like this. What do you guys think? I think it's a, a pretty stellar style of game, huh? Can we climb up those vines, maybe? Yes, we can. <gasps> he made it, though. Our boy is the best boy. He's the best boy around. The greatest. The one and only. The Red Scarf. Whoa. You can see the rest of the land that we're now high above. Very cool. We're approaching an hour into this. And I really like it. Ooh, there's a whole lot more of those activatable gummy babies. Not sure what they're all going to do, but... Oh, we're going to yell at the biggest orb of all. Aha! That activates all three to fill the pools. So we can swim to the key. Look at that. How quaint. How perfect. And trees form. Red leaf trees. The watcher has to be guiding us in some capacity, right? Those are activated as well. It's going to extend the platform back. And we have completed the green orbed area. All right, so we got to climb down now. It's a little scary. But he's a very good climber, so not too worried here. And the seagulls and the fox, everybody awaits my return to the lower domain. What's up, fox boy? Woo! Ow, right on our butt. That was quite the fall. Okay, so those dudes were activated. We'll grab the first key, but there's a second key that's missing. So there's got to be more... More to do. Maybe it's to go through that thing over there, but we must get... A, at some level, we have to be able to... Undo Bramble. There's got to be some way for us to do that. All right, but we will grab this key. And I'm guessing it goes in here? You would think? One would guess? All right, one is done. Still one to go. And I'm guessing we gotta go up through this world, but the crazy thing is, how do I remove the bramble? I think this is telling me there's a key through here. It looks like there is up top. Can he do Oh! Well, clever! That was easy enough. Ah! Kinda startling me there, dude. Oh, we gotta lure him up here? Alright, let's try that out. Good boy. Open the door. Inside we go. We got... What is this? A pedestal where there's probably going to be a key. But not yet. Okay. Huh. <gasps> Orbs! Okay. So you can set orbs down. You can activate orbs. So that orb down there must have had one of these 
There must have been a little one of these somewhere that we could have something we could have done with it. Oh god, that was bad. Okay. Back on. Let it rise us up. Awesome. Stay, stay, stay. Now, when we threw the orb, it ran away like a freaking runaway roach. Why can we not climb up this? There we go. Uh, now it makes me want to go back down there. Although, I think the bridge crumbled, so I'm not sure we can. Either way, the, the watcher is not watching anymore. But I do wonder if we can somehow navigate back down. And there definitely has to be a way, so uh, let's remember that, that we can probably get down and go mess with that from there. In the meantime, though, let's enter this pavilion, take this orb, and activate this. Weird. Oh, that's just another one we can put another orb in. Aha, so we have to be able to get... Okay, so this is like a puzzle to get multiple orbs, because we need three orbs. Okay, that's going to lift that. Oh, weird, okay. So let's check this out. Oh, when we set it down, the orbs disappear. Do you notice that? So grab a second one. Oh, it disappeared. One orb at a time. Huh. Okay, so obviously what we want to do is go from here. Then we can grab this orb. I wonder, if we set this orb down, is it done with us? I'm going to say the answer is no, because we can set this one down, and it'll just chill while we switcheroo this guy from here to here, and then I bet it's going to let that one stay open, which then will allow us to put the third one in and crawl across. So these are pretty, like, simple puzzles, but I, I like them. Like, they don't require as much, like, crazy brain power as something like The Witness, and at the same time, they're still, like, fun enough to be very engaging and interesting and intriguing, you know? Alright, that opens the door. Looks like that's gonna give us another one of those puzzles, clearly, as the soundtrack hints we have solved it. Okay. So this is gonna make another key appear. There we go. Thank you for my key, my key, my key. Alright, I got double key power now. That's death, okay. We'll go in... Well, no, we won't go. Okay, we gotta go down this way, which is a quicker way, I guess. Um, oh, it's sealed the... Wait. Ow. Let's see, can I... I have to run the other way, but let's see. I want to see if I can go down and figure out that other orb down there was about... So this will let me back through. Alright, we've already opened this all up. It's very pretty, like, especially with a day-night cycle. How some things just glisten at night, and then some things look even more glorious in the day. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I think we can... Holy crap, no. It looked like there might be a way... Yeah, let's go down. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Um. Okay, so we're back here now. So we want to go through this door, and then I want to see if there's one of those pedestals that I can put that orb on, because now we know what the heck we're looking for. Yeah. Thank goodness we didn't waste... Oh, 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 oh. You know what else? Yeah. 
If we can get a big old boar to come after us. Come here, buddy. Hey. Aren't you hungry, my friend? Hello? Okay, come on. Follow me. We're going to get him to... Now we know how to break Bramble. Which is via fruits and boars. Quite the combo. And I think there's another collectible. Who knows? Maybe it's even leading us to what we need for the orb. The little podium. Alright, here we go. Yes! Thank you, my friend. Alright. Oh, it's a pig! Okay. So it's a second animal. Maybe this is a hub world of sorts. I don't know. Maybe... There's no way, right, that all these collectibles are from the same area. There's no way, right? That's just crazy thinking. Anyhow, let's head back down real quick. Now that we know what the orbs are for, let's see if we can find a quick use uh, for that one. Maybe there's a podium even nearby. And then we'll go stick our second, second, our second, our second key in, our second key in uh, to the the little sphinx or whatever that may be. Where was it? No, no, no. Wait, wasn't it over here? No, it had to be... Th what the heck? Did the water level raise? Oh, it, there, there's a, a secret room. My bad. In the darkness, I almost missed it, but it's here. You walk through, and you find way over yonder that, now what we need to look for, is there a place to put this? I bet it's up in there. I wonder, I really do. I bet there was something in there, and that's where we gotta take the orb. Probably throw it across the gap. That's my guess, everybody, that's my guess. Okay. So give it to me. And since we can throw, we can set it down. As long as I don't throw it in the water. It seems like water made it get all weird. My guess, since we found nothing in there, is that there's going to be one of these podiums in there. I just don't remember it. Because it, it's interesting. Like some geometry, it seems like nothing uh, until you realize that it is indeed something. And once we realize it's something, we can use it. So let's go over here. I hope we can make this throw. This has got to be right. Right? Great. Definitely didn't make the throw. That went too far. That's what I was supposed to do with? That's it? Yuck. Not what I wanted. Well, let me dive here, which is weird, but okay. I don't know. Maybe that's all it was for. I, I'm sure at some point we can come back, but for now, let's just... Uh, Yeah, because I can't... I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Through the Golden Gates, we'll travel once more. And uh, we'll use our second key. And see what that gets us. That, or maybe it was just for that trophy. Maybe that's why it exists. So you would, like, be smart and throw it through there, and they can be like, no, 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 that's not what you do. But we'll find out. Or maybe we won't find out. I wonder if anyone else has found out. Since the game is not out, I, 
doubt that anyone has found out, but maybe. All right, there's the Watcher waiting for us. What if this is the end of the game? It's not, but that would be crazy. At least I don't think it is. Like, oops, would that be weird? No, I think I think this is supposed to be a pretty uh, meaty game, as far as I'm aware. Insert the key, turn the wheel, unlock the Sphinx, and give us your spiel. All right, so the oh the boy is lost from the king. So we're are we chasing like the ghost of our dad? Is that the whole deal? Is that who that watcher person is? This sure as heck seems like the end of the game. But it can't be, right? In no way it's an hour and ten minutes long. We are running a very long bridge, though. This much is true. It is a very epic bridge quest. We can roll. At least this one isn't cracking, or when we get here, watch it all fall. Please don't. Okay. So backtracking is possible. In we go. Of course. Climbing. Vines. Top of the tower. Fox and father, or fox and watcher. Whoever he is. Clearly is begging us to follow, so we will. Unless he ends up becoming an evil demon, then I'll be very sad. Don't like those kind of creatures. Just like the happy ones. Although I've heard there's some creepy creatures in this game, so I'm mutually uh, excited and upset about that. <laughs> Ooh. The whole kingdom! What the heck? Moon ball? Gold ball. What the heck? Um. Oh, we can change the day night cycle. That is crazy! Look at that! Holy cow, okay. <gasps> the king in the sun! We did it! Okay, there's a tall tower. It's now been unlocked in some capacity. Hallelujah. Light pours down. And... It shines another bridge. And the Watcher waits for us and us alone. Let's jump, my boy. Let's jump. All right, another big old bridge run. Getting good at these now. Da 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 Alright. Watch your boy. Tell me what's up. Foxman, tell me what's going on. Clearly there's more collectibles. So the game is not over. Don't try and trick me. But what is going on? So very strange. So very dark. <gasps> okay. Hello. We're in what feels like some sort of tomb or secret room. Or a little bit of both. Secret tomb. There, the light's turned on. All sorts of geometry. More of these. Ha! 
Oh, that one opened a secret pathway. I wonder if the other did too. I feel like it couldn't have, but maybe it did. I don't know. What the heck? We have to be able to climb up this, right? Yes? No? Ha! Oh! I'm not sure what that did. But uh, I'm guessing activating it helped. Right? Maybe? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Alright, the floor glistens. We are in some very serious epic area. Ha! Yell to break the vase. And then through we go and we... Ha! Get more flames to... Rage. In the flame tunnel here. Ha! Ha! Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that's for. Ha! But okay. Let's keep on going. Aha. Uh -huh. This one looks important. All roads lead into this guy. Looks like we're going deeper and deeper. Oh, 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 oh. Deeper and deeper into the inner sanctum. I wonder if there's an achievement or a trophy for like lighting all the fires. There's the Red Watcher boy. We have found him. Okay. Stay on the path. That lights as we move. Oh. Oh. Just doing a little sing song there. Hello, Watcher Man. I'm guessing we have to go light up all of these guys. We have a very beautiful voice. It's like a dark maze. Very interesting, isn't it? There's some mechanics in this game that are like wholly unique, like this one, the maze mechanic. What is going on? I feel like I'm freaking Ursula taking Ariel's voice. I know that's not the case as we, I think we're just marking our progress, but his high pitch, uh, his much more sing songy voice that he uses for the statues is weird. Oh god. Now we go down. Near the depths below. Hello? Oh boy. All music stops. Ha! Yeah! Light it up. Ha! Ha! I like that we can light all these flames. Ha! I really don't know why we do it, but it's kind of fun. And there has to be a trophy, otherwise, well, why? Cool. All right. Hey, there's the fox. There's the fox. There's the fox and the fox and the fox. Ooh. Wow, it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning higher and higher. I wonder if we need other animals to open up further doors, maybe? 
There's gotta be a fast travel system at some point, right? To get back to that area? Or if it's all linear, I don't know. Watcher man at the red cloak. I'm like, man, I'm just gonna wait up here for you. I tossed you enough breadcrumbs today, my friend. I really don't know if there's a purpose to this, but I feel compelled. Like, this one's a big one. It does absolutely nothing for me, but it makes it a prettier, more teal light. Okay. So we're following the path of the fox. Latin orange flames. And we're climbing to something. What? I do not know. We'll find out together. There was a very bright light uh, up at the, the plateau of this fox layer. I bet each animal leads us to a different layer of this tower, and the goal is to reach the top. So we'll probably, like, exit and enter this main area. That's my guess, right? So that was the blue flame area, and now it's a red flame area. Or an orange flame. However you want to call this. Maybe it's just the way you interact with these things, and it's totally unnecessary. But okay. Wowzer Bowser. That is a very bright light. It's another key door, though. I'm just gonna run towards it. Gosh, this is really cool and pretty and just surreal. It's very unique. It's very beautiful. And it's very cool. Whoa, okay. I like that you have more control than something of, of the in the vein of Journey, but it still retains like the same beauty and craziness and what the heck is gonna happen next and pure amazement. So here we go into the mysterious beyond. <gasps> and in it, our cloak has turned white. Don't say no. And it looks like... There's our freaking cape! And oh my goodness, where are we going now? I have the stuff here. Uh, but goodness gracious, that game is getting good. If you guys want to see more, if you think we should play the whole thing, let me know. Hit that like button. I freaking love it so far. It's super recommendable. Uh, as just like a wholly unique, puzzle-rific, beautiful... Uh, visual masterpiece, very calm, uh, completely alternative style of game design. And I definitely recommend it. And I definitely want to see what happens next. So until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you did, let me know. <sighs> it's really fun to have cool games like this. Like, you can see on my screen here, okay, Prey, Injustice 2, Horizon, Little Nightmares, all of them good, and all of them so different. It's a magical year for games. I feel like 2017 is going to be one of the best. So I hope to see you guys again soon, whether on this game or another. But we'll be back. And this is Rhyme. And it's really freaking good. So until next time, thanks again for watching. Yes, Daydrix, watch out. I love you all. And we'll see you all later.